Hello, it's Sarah, and I wanted to share my magnet boards that I got done. Um, I still have the cookie sheet to do, and I think I'm going to do that like in a Tim Holtz style, so kind of grunge. But this one turned out really girly, and I really like it. Um, this is a pizza tray that I got at the Dollar, dollar Tree. Um, dollar, so great. Um, I covered it with, I'm pretty sure this is the Glam Girl stack, a piece of paper from that. And it just has words, wish, believe, dream, hope. So I like that. And the colors were pretty. And I happen to have these trims in my stash. So I really didn't use anything other. All I did, bought for this was the cookie sheet. I had everything else. Um, I mean, not that I didn't buy the other things, but, um, they were very cheap. I don't buy a lot of trims online or anything, so these were either from Michael's, Joann's, or AC Moore, generally. I mean, um, maybe Hobby Lobby, too. Hobby Lobby. Those are, um, I go to those craft stores quite often, so anyway, um, I just want to say I did adhere everything with, and it's downstairs, but it's not Fabri-Tac. It's um, by Beacon. It's, in the, it's the same type of glue, but it's like tacky it's a fabric tack or mm, i can't think of the name of it but it's it's pretty much fabric tack it's basically the same thing and it help it holds pretty well so i'm not going to pull because this is like a um i think it's a, a non-stick surface so i was worried about using the um uh, hot glue gun because I've ha I've had trouble sometimes when I've mod podge things and tried to glue trims on them and stuff with the glue gun they don't stick or they'll pull off so fingers crossed this will hold um, and I didn't I don't have a circle cutter so my circle was a bit wonky as my mom used to say um, and there was a little piece like and then when I glued it down and I glued that down with just um, a white glue it's the uh, quick dry um, glue and I just you know put it all over and rubbed it all around and I kind of didn't get it centered so there was a little piece of silver showing over here this side fit pretty well um, but once I put all my trims down it covered everything up so I was really happy about that so it looks good um, I did end up um, oh my magnets fell off I punched the holes with my crocodile. I used the littler setting and I just punched two holes. I kind of centered it, you know, and then I um, lined it up and just punched two holes and threaded some ribbon through. So that's my hanger. And then I put this bow down here to kind of tie in with that ribbon, the purple ribbon. Um, put a little star gem on there. Um, so really cute. I like it. Um, for the magnets for this one, I had this in my stash. It says Wish, so that went along with it. And it's a brad, so I cut the little brad things off and made that a magnet. And then these three are from the paper stack, the um, Glam Gal stack. And I just found coordinating paper and cut that out with a circle punch. And then these words are from the Tim Holtz Chit Chat um, so I got Believe, Treasure, and Inspire, I believe, yeah. And so I just kind of put them where I wanted them and um, glossy accented them onto these domes, which are these, these are like, um, these are actually from the dollar store too, and they're actually a bit bigger than normal size ones. These are at least an inch big. So I made those to go with it. And then I have two resin stars that I made, and these are just silver um, glitter so I like it all right so that's that one and I really love this one and I saved the other one I'm gonna um, have to go up now and see if I can get this in the shot I'm gonna zoom in a little oh, maybe I'll go up um, this is one of those um, I don't know what they call it, but that wooden, the wooden frames that they sell at Michael's, and I've seen them there forever, and I love the intricate cutout wooden things they have. They have like much smaller frames and um, words and different things like that, and I've always thought, what the heck could you use those for, the big things, right? So I think I had mentioned that my husband bought some of that galvanized metal, 
so I thought, aha, I'm going to make a magnet board and put it in that frame. So that's what I did. I don't know if I'm crazy about it. It's, um, you know, I had this fabric because that's the other thing. There were a couple tutorials on these. Some people were using fabric and some were using paper. Um, so I figured for a bigger piece, because that's a bit bigger than 12 by 12, I, you know, that's how big a piece of scrapbook paper is. I used fabric. That's a fat quarter, I think. Um, I had a spray adhesive and I sprayed it and wrapped it around and my husband actually used a uh, ratcheting, now what, what did he call it? Oh my God, it's not coming to me. You know what these things are called. I'm going to walk up to it. Rivet. It's a rivet. He riveted them in to the back. So look, you can see, well you can't see, but that's a rivet. Rivet. <laughs> I feel like a frog. Um, so what I ended up doing was just stamping a bunch of stamps in red and black stays on on top of the frame. First I painted it with the Lemur um, metallic silver. I put a piece of ribbon kind of through it because I thought it just looked a little plain. I'm going to come sit down again. And um, that's what I came up with. Now that cost, it's like $8 for the frame and then the fabric was probably like two about two dollars, I think. And um, the, the galvanized metal, I'm not sure how much that was, but that's at least ten bucks right there. Um, but you know what? I I definitely would have spent ten on this if I had to buy the ribbon and everything to make it. So I don't know. That's a little bit more, I think. And then I made these magnets to go with it. This is just a heart that was in the pink. I made this pair of red um, glittery lips and then two Marilyn Monroe's I have um, for that. That's all I have for that one. So um, like I said, I'm going to make the next one I think is going to be a Tim Holtzy one. So it might be a little steampunky. I've been thinking about chain for trim. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, but I think they're a cool idea, especially the dollar ones. Um, for craft shows and stuff and since I do have a ton of supplies already um, I need to use them up so I'm gonna and I have tons of magnets that I've been making and stuff like that so they're pretty easy to make you can make a magnet out of anything really so I mean I haven't even tried the polymer clay yet um, I have art tiles that I've made I could make into magnets so um, pretty much the sky's the limit with that but um, these are fun really simple project too there's lots of good tutorials so um all right guys those are my magnet boards thanks for watching